what is lymphedema edema or swelling caused by damage to the lymphatic system is called lymphedema lymph nodes are located throughout the body but the largest groupings are found in the neck armpits and groin areas lymph nodes are important for the proper functioning of the immune system acting as filters for foreign particles and cancer cells the most common type of lymphedema is caused by breast cancer cervical cancer or its treatment which involves the removal of the lymph nodes during mastectomy or breast removal surgery this procedure involves the removal of lymph nodes from the axilla or the armpit as a result drainage of toxic fluid is affected it is not expelled from the limb and starts accumulating this makes the limb heavy and reduces mobility reduced mobility is a serious consequence and to combat this unwanted swelling certain short term and long term exercises are recommended these are required to manually move the accumulation of lymphatic fluid to undamaged parts of the body to be then removed by the body itself these simple self administered exercises are vital for the recovery process these can then be complemented with compression sleeves and bandaging techniques for temporary relief please consult your doctor for a comprehensive exercise plan ensuring your exercise begins before you are discharged soon after surgery immediate post operation exercises bring your hand towards the wall slowly move your fingers onto the wall stretch your hands straight club your hands together move them to the back of your head now move your hands in this way put your hand on your shoulder now move your arm in a circular motion sitting exercises push your shoulders forward now push them back club your hands move them to your chest move forward now go up and count to 2 move down take your hands at the back feel the stretch of your shoulders hand exercises tighten your fist now slowly close and open your fist move your wrist forward and back lying down exercises put your hands at the back join your hands move your hands in and then out move your hands up and down with slight movement of your toes join your hands put at the back now turn to the right side now to the left side take your arms up bring it down cross your arms clench the fist now move in this way open your arms move your right arm to the other side so that your right palm touches your left palm now repeat it for the other side take the following precautions while exercising remember these exercises should be gentle they should not be abrupt and vigorous do these exercises at least twice a day initially repeat each exercise 5 times do not overdo or strain yourself enjoy yourself while doing these exercises continue the exercises after discharge regular exercises will help you regain full mobility of your arm exercising affected arm at least once a day should be part of your daily routine here are some recommended preventive guidelines for patients do moisturize your skin frequently and regularly with lotion and cream try to avoid cuts and injections on the affected arm do use rubber gloves when you wash dishes or hand wash clothes 
Do rest your arm in an elevated position at all times. Don't take unusually hot baths or showers. Don't carry heavy objects with your affected arm. Don't wear restrictive items on your affected arm. Indian Cancer Society Rise Against Cancer